Danielle Beck with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. She's in the Public Affairs Division. In fact, the Senior Vice President of uh, Senior Executive Director. There we go. We get all these titles right. But anyway, let's talk about where we left off. Uh, Congress going back in the, the, the end of August now. Um, a short time, short window. There really, there's not that many days even for the end of the year, but there's a lot to cram in, good or bad. So let's look at maybe where you're hearing things to play out in the fall, and then let's look to next year because ah, it's election year. Yes, uh, you know, in addition to an infrastructure initiative, Congress is going to have to figure out how they want to fund the government for the next fiscal year. Uh, we know that they reach uh, the expiration date on funding on, mm -hmm. at the end of September. Every year for what seems like entirely too long, we've been in a situation where they've got a continuing resolution, some short-term funding scenarios that get us through, you know, X period of time. Um, you know, hopefully we don't end up in a situation in which we've got CR upon CR through December, but there is a scenario where that could happen. Um, you know, they are looking at some really great new funding provisions. They brought back earmarks in the House and Senate uh, that has allowed members to really advocate for good projects in their district. We've got some great ag funding provisions in there. Uh, you know, the hope I think is that they could raise some of the spending limits and provide more funding for critical initiatives like research. Um, you know, investments in agriculture that will allow us to really be uh, a resilient uh, industry or resilient industries in the future, but whether or not they can get that across right. the finish line in that short period of time is the question. Okay, a couple of other things pretty critical. One is the reauthorization of the, the price reporting. Yes. That, that's coming up, and there's there's been a few things that have been added recently. We're still kind of seeing those play out. Will that happen, or will that maybe be extended on to maybe kick the can for another day? Yeah, so if you recall, uh, we are living in a short-term or a one-year extension of LMR. Right, right. Uh, and it is, you know, probably pretty likely that we'll see another short-term extension. Okay. Uh, you know, my colleague Tanner Beamer in the D.C. office likes to say that we, we have to be careful about a Christmas tree scenario in which right. folks keep layering on their own different priorities and trying to look at LMR as a vehicle for something that's not intended right. to be. So, uh, you know, we'll We'll hopefully see a clean re right. It's critical that Alamar does not lapse. All right, we got a lot to talk about in a short amount of time. Yeah. So let's look at the crystal ball. Then let's let's get through this year into next with redistricting all over the country. All that taking place. Election year, uh, midterm for the president. What might happen in 2023? Uh, that is an excellent question. And if I had a solid <laughs> answer that you could put money on, uh, I'd. I'd could be very well paid yes. predicting the future. No, um, I think that members in both uh, parties and in both chambers want to keep their jobs. And they are very tuned into what their constituencies want and what they're asking for. So we've got a really powerful voice and we as an industry have an opportunity to influence what happens in 2023. You know, we're going to be looking at a farm bill, but there's also a ton happening within the administration and Congress right now where they want to support their constituencies. Folks want to get reelected. They want to come back to D.C. And so uh, we're going to lean into this opportunity and hopefully set that agenda for them. The, the bottom line, though, is your members, cattle producers, need to be engaged with their elected officials. Absolutely. Uh, all politics is local, it is critical that members hear from, from their constituents. You know, I'm a, I'm a hired gun, I live in D.C., so our producers don't have to, but really your voice uh, is what makes a difference in D.C. All right, Danielle, thanks for the update. We could go a lot longer, but uh, that's, that's you know, time's of the essence for so many things, so yeah, thanks no, a lot. Thank you. All right, Danielle Beck, she is the uh, uh, Senior Executive Director of uh, Governmental Affairs for the National Academy of Beef Association. Stay with us. More in a moment.